Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is part, I don't know, next part of, this is called my hardware. Uh, this is, uh, I'm just repeating myself, it's going to be all linked together. For Handicapper, he asked me, what do I use, and how do I use, and what will I use? Alright, this is called my hardware. Hardware I put on to bring to my camp. And this is my hardware. Alright, I got, everybody knows I used my K-knife, and here's a K-knife. Uh, Tom Clintwood made this nice sheet for me. I just want to say thank you again, Tom. But this is my K knife I like to use when I go out camping. Regardless of where I go, I always try to bring my K knife with me. This is one of my hardwares I, I put on. And when I get to camp, I take everything off. But who wants to wear your uh, machete all the time? Now, I've been trying to carry a bigger knife when I go out there camping. So I thought about bringing the Pathfinder with me all the time. The Grumpy sharpened this knife for me. So thank you Grumpy for sharpening this baby. I'm scared to touch this on knife. If you notice on this knife it has a nice chaos. 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 I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. And a little multiple striker on the side. So I got a little flint and steel in case I need to get a fire going. Let's see if it lights. Uh, it's been a while. Yep. It's too light. So that's my my uh, second choice I usually put on now. I, Like I said, I'm trying to get a bigger knife for my sidearm. Then, my neck knife. I used to have a moor. I lost my moor making a new trail to my camp. You know, that sun's in your face. Let's move that camera so it's not your face. There you go. Now you can, the sun's in my face, Davey boy. All right, now I got my a new neck knife I got from the Grumpy. I just want to say, thank you, Grumpy. Um, this is my other and last hardware besides my gloves that I put on. And this is a little... This is the hardware I like to use. I love my neck knife. Uh, my friend got me started, Andrew Majuri. Y'all don't know him, but he passed away on my birthday. Uh, enough of that. So, this is my little neck knife that I got from the Grumpy, and this is what I'm always going to use until I lose it, or uh, I'm never going to trade it. <laughs> but this is it. These are the mark my knives. And I, I got one more hardware I'm going to pull out. Hardware is weapons, knives, stuff like that. Well, I got a couple more. Uh, my, the part I always wear, I always wear gloves because the uh, everything dries my skin. So I'll have dry skin like hell. All right, I'm going to pull out one more, two more hard hardware. My last two hardwares that's on my vest that I use time to time is this knife right here. My other more that Donnie Polinani gave me. Thank you. I still got this baby. Yes, Tom, I still got yours too. It's in my bug boot. And I got that. This sucker is very sharp. It went through a pair of leather gloves. Can you believe that? This is my hardware I use. I barely use this, but it's right there. I can grab it if I need it so when I'm on when I have my vest on. Then I have the neck knife and the sidearm, which is the uh, the uh, Bear Grylls Pathfinder knife. Secondary hardware. What is that? Flashlights. 
Um, I usually don't use this flashlight. I have the red one from Walmart. It's pretty bright. I usually have that as my flashlight. Then I have the two tactical flashlight, 200 watts. Then I have the Scorpion light. That's all. Both of them are chargeable with a battery plug. So this is my hardware. This is the secondary hardware of my light system. They're both chargeable lights. They both got like Q beams. I can shine all by half a mile with these babies, and I can open it up to a wide Q beam. So this is my light. Uh, second uh, light hardware. All right, this is part three of two of one or something like that. All right, I see you in the next video. I'm gonna talk about my vest and my what's in my vest. Show you how I use my rope technique again on this video. All right, see you in the video. Well, I'm Ranger Kiki, and I want to show you building shelter. What is or what I use to build my shelter for temporary stay three nights? Because this, the vest is only good for three, three day, four day uh, venture. Because it's it's not built for a long time. It's only good for three or four days, and you gotta go. You you don't have enough equipment. Or it's not good for a long period of time so what I'm going to show you now is how, how I get my shelter and my sleep area ready all right we got, uh, I'm just going to do a recap of my hammer it's 550 cord looped together then tied in knots every so many inches so I can put my hammock where I need it. So if I want to put a knot, I can put a knot right here. Remember, every knot you put makes it smaller. All right, now I'm gonna pull it. Now you can you can go to the store and buy you one of those little loop things with the loops and pay spend my fifty bucks for that damn thing. Or you can buy 50 cord for like five bucks for 50 yards to 100 yards for eight dollars and make your own loopity doop. All right, we got we have our hammock and we got our ties up on our trees where we need them. I'm not gonna recommend uh, sitting in this because these are on the pole, so they might slide down. So, I need one about here, and then go across. I do recommend you sitting in your hammock a couple times to get it where you need to be. But this is only a... Uh, this is only for a show. There you go. Now I got the right height. Now I just have to finish the rest of it. But before I put my tarp, depends on if it's raining or not, because my vest is for survival. So I have a choice. I could put my tarp up, but if it's not raining, what to do next? What I usually do is put my blankets in. Now he asked, a uh, handicapper asked me what kind of material do I use to keep warm? Well, I'm going to show you. Alright, handicapper. This is fleece. Fleece is really awesome. Um, I got... You ever heard those little chamois? Those chamois are excellent you should try a chamois before you even say oh no chamois are for the little girls but if you get the camouflage they're for the big guys so what i did i went to dirt cheap and bought me a brand new uh fleece if i'm not mistaken let's take a make sure it's fleece made in china oh uh, hi esther 
But I love these blankets. They're, but the only thing I hate about them, they're so small. Look at that. Two foot. But this keeps you warm at night. Oh, gosh. Those chamois are really excellent. You, you'd be surprised about their chamois. I do have a bug out bag and I do use, I want to use wool blanket. Now, you, if you make an inch bag, the inch bag should be required a wool blanket. The wool blanket will last for years. Out there at Hobo, I got a wool blanket that's been out there since dawn of time and it still holds it. I mean, you can't even rip it. It's so good. But right now, I'm only going lightweight so the chamois or the fleece or the stuff that's made with the chamois thou thrall wow i'm sorry i'm saying the wrong word that is what you need to get or a good sleeping zero bag one of the little lightweights i'll show you in a few seconds i always have this in my car let me show you Come over here, come to the table. All right. This is always in my car because you never know when you got to travel to another state and the other state, it might be freezing. In my bag here, it's a waterproof bag. Look, Daddy Paladini gave me this. In my bag, I have another, uh, this is a real chamois, I mean, uh, yeah, chamois, because it has the arms. If I can find the arms. The Grumpy used this. Chamois. It was comfortable as hell for him. Kept him warm all night. Let's see if I can find a tag on this thing. I bought this for eight bucks in one of them little flea markets. I said, ma'am, I only got eight dollars. You take it? Yeah, I'll take it for eight dollars. Polyester. Huh. Once again, it's made out of polyester, but it's foamy. Feel it. Okay. This is in my car all the time. I bought this at the flea market also. It's a nice little sleeping bag. This is what I bring when I use my hammock. When I go to car parking or go in the middle of the woods, I carry this sleeping bag. Basically, this bag comes with me when I go with my vest. Now, I just put this in here. It's another sleeping bag. Um, pay nine dollars at a drift store, but it's just a sleeping bag. I have it in there for my car only. And you know what I'm missing? I'm missing my two jackets. I usually have two camouflage jackets that's uh, in here, and I always have those. And I'll take my jacket and sleeveless jackets. Y'all see me wear it sometimes, sometimes. And I will open that sleeveless jacket and wrap myself like a cocoon, especially my feet or on the bottom of the hammock so it keeps me warm at night my feet's more cold and usually me i'm a hot-blooded son of a bitch i melt snow but minute i go to bed my temperature drops and everything drops so i need to be warm when i'm sleeping and never a good night's sleep means you got rest so this is just an extra hand, uh, sleeping bag i keep in my car just to have it but I do have the two jackets, that sleeping bag, and that chamois you just saw in my car at all times. I watch too many programs. You see people die, die in their car because they have nothing to keep themselves warm. If you're stuck, your legs are broken, and you fell off a cliff, just hear me out. You went up to the north somewhere and you got all those cliffs in the road, and you fell off that cliff. 
you know, they're finding cars almost every day that fell off a cliff and find their bodies down there. That, that showed that he was or she was alive for three or four days. But what killed them was the cold weather. <laughs> now this is a... Uh, Let's see what this is made of, huh? What's going on? <laughs> Polyester fiber! And nylon. Uh, let's see. 100% nylon and 100% polyester. Ain't that nice? I like this sleeping bag. I slept in it many times. I recommend a small sleeping bag for your car or your... Because it's... It, Packed so small. Look at that. Look at that. Done. And my uh, chamois. I have, and what I do now, what now I got, we're trying to only bring two bags. And I'm going to show you my new gear that I'm going to try just to leave on my vest. Just take it off when I need it and don't need it. So I'm ready to show you that. Alright. Uh, the vest uh, request is next.